Well, this building was as loud as I've ever heard it for volleyball. Third match this year for Louisville here on their home floor. This is where you played as a player back in the day. Usual home court is down the road, LNN Federal Credit Union Arena. Crowds responded. Oregon did a great job to quiet the crowd out of that last time out. They're up by one now. They win this set, it's over. Let's see how Louisville regroups from the timeout. Pukas has been outstanding. Great job by Lothro to keep it alive. And that's going to be off of Collier, a point for Louisville. Huge response. Excellent recognition by Raquel Lothro. Seeing that Brooke Nunnavella was going to take this over. She gets her hand under just in time. Chasse sets up her partner in crime. And De Beer, no fear. Really good serve by De Beer. Oregon handles it. And they get a lot out of it. What a great play. Nana Viller with the long set to who else but Morgan Lewis. What a send. Send it. And she does. Ducks back in front. Nana Viller serves. Lothero. Pukis quickly to the middle. Great job by Lothero to keep it alive. That's going to go long. Oregon two points away from winning the match. Cards will use their final timeout. What a performance by Oregon after dropping set one. They cleaned it up for set two, dominated in set number three, and they are two points away from winning this match and advancing to Omaha. You think back to what they did against Nebraska in set four. They fought off four match points in set four, won that set 32-30, ended up winning in five to set up this moment, this opportunity right now. They jumped on the cards early in set one and then they made too many errors late in set one that allowed Louisville to take the first. And then they have pressured Louisville ever since. Pressured them in the sense that it's forced Louisville to make unforced errors. And they have been relentless in the back row, just digging up balls, frustrating Louisville. Louisville's used to making easy kills, right? Because they're so physical. And yet, when you don't get a kill on the first or second attempt, it starts to frustrate. You get impatient, and then that leads to errors. And we've seen that because Oregon's been so relentless. So I think tenacious is a word yeah. you use. Oregon's defense has been the story here. I mean, it's been Louis excellent. Louisville is hitting 183 for the match. They came in hitting 293, top 10 in the country. The O's, the Ducks are up. The Ducks on the court are up by two, two points away from the match. None of her, that's going to be a service there. She says, my bad. Her teammates rally around her. It's 23-22. Look who's serving for Louisville. Elena Scott, five aces today. Scott with the save. Chasse! You can see the cameras on their platform shaking because of the crowd noise right now. Denny Bustman Kelly has gone to a ponytail, a business bun, if you will. <laughs> That's the level of analysis you don't get everywhere, folks. All business. <laughs> what a response. I mean, it's been response after response. Momentum has shifted back and forth, back and forth. And the Nebraska, Nebraska fans, fans stuck around because they knew this was going to be great volleyball. <laughs> they want to see Danny Bustman Kelly in a homecoming. 
go to Omaha. Won a national championship as a player and as an assistant coach for the Huskers. Oregon taking the timeout. Both teams have used their two timeouts. Tied at 23. I can't sit through this again if Oregon is going to make this a trade for trade for trade like we saw in set four against Nebraska. It was almost too much stress on the heart for those watching. I like to look at it as a match prepared you for this moment. That was Oregon the moment that got you ready. Oregon, Oregon is certainly prepared for this moment. They will make you moment. tenacious. And you gain and pull from those experiences, do you not? 100%. But here's the thing with Oregon. They've been in this position a lot. When you talk about five setters, they've played in 10 five setters. They've won their last five five setters. When it gets hot, when it gets tight, they have played loose. They have played well all season long. And it's getting hot and tight in here right now because it's 23-23. The Ducks led 23-21. Back-to-back -back points for Louisville. Teams are out of timeouts, and here is Scott to serve. Pukis looks to the left. That's blocked out of play. It is match point for Oregon. Great swing by Mimi Collier and a have-to-have-it moment. Georgia Murphy serving for the match for Oregon. Not the rope. Jose. Pukas sprints after it. Sets it. That one goes long. Was there a touch? No touch. You have to win by two. We're tied at 24. It's an excellent set by Hannah Pukas on the run. Putting Collier in an advantageous situation, just pushes behind the ball, doesn't quite get on top. I go Jones back to serve, even at 24 in the fourth. Pukas looks again for Collier. Chance here for Lothero on the set to Chausse. Good dig by Murphy. Off the block. Kill for Chasse. Set point, Louisville. Who are you going to go to? The ACC Player of the Year, who's helped you get to this moment. Claire Chasse beating the block through. Oregon fights off a set point. Morgan Lewis came to play. Amazing. Every time she has been set, she has found success. She should be so proud of her performances this weekend. 12 kills hitting 346 today after 13 kills hitting 385 on Thursday. Tied at the net, Lothero. Chasse drops it down. That point goes to Raquel Lothero. She jump sets, pulls both blockers. It's a one on none. Claire Chasse has the whole net to work with because her setter did what was necessary, and then they hug it out. Set point number two for Louisville. CC Rush on the serve. Pukis goes outside. Collier. Not a Miller saved it, but it won't clear the net. And we will go five in Louisville. Louisville fought off a match point here just a moment ago against Oregon. What does that do emotionally for these two teams? Well, first off, I think your emotions are in overdrive yeah. right now, certainly, <laughs> because of what's at stake. It's all about, though, recentering yourself, remaining calm, loose if you can play loose, settling in because you've got to make great contacts like we've seen throughout this entire afternoon. 
So a reminder, we play to 15 here in the fifth set. When Katie talks about it happens quickly, the, the fifth set goes fast. It just feels so quick. And the first serve from Nunnabiller. To the middle, off speed. Not the way Kong intended, I don't think, but she'll take the result. She gives you that big, bright smile. Sometimes a little whip isn't the worst thing. <laughs> a little shoulder shrug. <laughs> yeah, she'll yeah, flex on that one, yeah. right? You know, aiko has got muscles in her pinky, and uh, PK wants to let everybody know she's got those muscles on the miss hit. Nothing wrong with that hit. Once again, getting great production mm -hmm. from Kiari Roby. That's her ninth kill, Bacon also with nine kills. Well, when you're in a one on one situation, you've got to score, and Roby's been so effective all day long doing it. You saw the late update nine kills for Roby, 615 hitter. Murphy serves. Chasse has it blocked. Scott somehow, some way kept it alive. Off hands and another kill for Morgan Lewis. Back to back matches here in Louisville with 13 kills. I don't know how many times I can say it. I've just been so impressed with the performance of Morgan Lewis over well, the last couple she days. She thought she had the point on the block, but Scott had other ideas. So Lewis with the reset and the kill to put Oregon on top here in set five. Great job by Pukish, just keeping it alive. Oh, great job by Tillman with the block. Oregon's out of system. None of Villers just trying to throw it up to Mimi Collier, who's inside, and who's there waiting for none other than Amaya Tillman. Teaming up with Jones. Ten blocks now for the cards. Six for Oregon. That one's going to sail long. Service error number 12 for the cards. Ducks in front. Bailey McClellan ready to go. To Beer, got a lot on that one, and got the kill for the cards to tie it up. Worth pointing out, Claire Chasse has stuck three passes, puts it right on top of Raquel Lovro's head. She's able to run a fast, in-tempo bit to Anna De Beer out of the backcourt, one-on-one. But it doesn't start unless you've got a great pass from Chasse. Throw looks for the beer. Murphy saved it. Free ball. Lothero looks for the kill. Collier, what a save by Iko Jones. Free ball to Oregon. What a save by Scott. That's in. Look at the exhaustion. How great, how great is this sport? There I were love a it. handful of times where that it. point was over. I love it. You I hate love it. it. Oh Tell my yourself. gosh, what a play. And both sides are gassed and exhausted, and they should be because they are giving you everything that they have. And they're actually going to check on Amaya Tillman and Anna DeBeer. Did they collide, perhaps? Remember, De Beer has that left knee brace on. Oh, yeah, there's a slip by De Beer and an awkward fall. Now she's limping. So oh, clearly, it. some sweat on the floor that she slipped on. Now, so, I will say it was her right leg that slipped out. Yeah, but she's flexing that left as it got caught behind mm -hmm. her a little bit, don't you think, Katie? Like we saw in that replay, like she kind of was dragging it a bit. Now, here's the thing with Anna De Beer. We go through the timeline again. September 17th, suffered a knee injury at Stanford. Anna De Beer was actually run into accidentally by Amaya Tillman. She missed 12 matches. She returned November 4th. She has been slowly ramping up to this regional here 
in Louisville. She's going to stay out there. We'll keep one eye on her here, though, to see how she moves. Seems to be moving okay with Tillman next to her for the block. I'm going to tell you what. Amaya Tillman does a great job recognizing where that ball is going. She's one of the best read blockers in the country. That knee might be hurting for Anna DeBeer. There's no way she's coming off this floor. 3-0 run for Louisville. Oregon needs a side out. They're not going to get it here. 4-0 run. Louisville's touching balls at the net. They're blocking balls. They're making it easier on the defense behind them. They're playing their brand of volleyball that has gotten them to this point. We didn't see it in set three, certainly. We didn't see much in set three. We saw some of it come out late in the fourth set, and that has carried over here in the fifth. They're doing it against a team that has won 16 matches in a row. Their last loss, October 14th at UFC. 16 match winning streak, a new school record. Trying to make it to the national semifinals for the first time in a decade when they did it here in this building, making it all the way to the championship against Texas. But the setting is a little different. It may be the same building, but you got about 10,000 people, 9,700 are wearing red, trying, as we saw in that fourth set, trying to will their team to a match victory here in Louisville. They've won 11 in a row, the Cardinals have. Trying to make it back-to-back -back trips to the national semifinal. Last year, the regional final was played at Freedom Hall. They beat Georgia Tech to advance to the national semifinals for the first time ever. Can they go back-to-back? -back? They fought off a match point in set four, won that set 27-25, and now trying to do what teams have struggled to do against Oregon when it gets to a fifth set, and that's knock off the Ducks. The resilient, tenacious Ducks need to dig deep here, down by three, as we come out of an Oregon timeout. CC Rush has done a great job getting the cards out this run. Pukas goes to Collier. That's what Katie was just referencing. And Louisville with Scott leading the way. Continue to dig out and get touches. Tillman had to reset. Collier's going to go long. It's obviously not the touch that Collier wanted on the ball. I respect that. She is swinging. She is still taking huge rips at the ball. She's not scared. She's not tipping balls over. She is swinging to win. That's what you have to have in late game situations. Set back for Bacon on the slide. So Oregon mixes it up a little bit. Well done to get Carson Bacon in the middle. Another kill for her. She's in the double digits now at 10. Well said. Hannah Pukas pushed forward. Jacks this ball all the way back. Gets Bacon in a one-on-one -on -one situation against DeBeer. She's able to cut that ball cross court. Mimi Collier has a really nice jump float with a lot of pace. Handled by Chausse. The attack from the back by Jones is denied by Oregon at the net. Carson Bacon, Bacon just had that slide kill. And look at this. She recognizes Iko Jones coming fast and gets up over. What a block. Veteran player in the middle for Oregon. Red shirted in 2018 when Oregon made a regional run. Service error for the Ducks. Back to a three-point advantage for Louisville. So they will switch ends as Louisville is the first team to eight. Switch sides of the net, switch benches. No time to really huddle up here. So you can see Matt Ulmer going to work right away talking to Mimi Collier.
Bartlett will come on for Louisville to serve for the cards. Up 8-5 at the changeover. Louisville took set one. Oregon took sets two and three. Oregon had a match point at set four. Louisville saved it, won the set, and here they are in front in set five. Lothero gets there to De Beer. Off hands, out of play. Point Cardinals. Let's take another look at this. Look at the adjustment in flight by Anna De Beer. It's way wide, and yet she leans back in air and still able to find hands to get a kill. Oregon needs a side out desperately right now. Down by four again. They go to Nunaveller. No touch. 10-5 cards on top by five. And I think we're going to have a challenge here. Matt Ulmer is going to go to the challenge card. Remember, you're given an additional challenge, told you earlier, in the fifth set. So the ruling on the floor is that there was no touch by Louisville, a point for the cards. They will go to the monitor. We'll get the official call here, pointing to his right means the call stands. So Louisville's on top 10-5. Demir. That started with P.K. Kong as they all push her because she was underneath the block there to dig it up and control it to get Demir in a situation to swing. Oregon will use their final timeouts. Now down by six as we play to 15. They had their struggles, certainly, earlier in this match, Katie George, Anna DeBeer, and Claire Chaussee. It took them a while to get going. They really did. But they have delivered late. DeBeer in this set has been good. Chaussee, you pointed out, defensively getting after things. She's been in attack mode. She, after the slow start, has been playing well as we've gone on in this match. She really came alive in set four when they Claire had Chaussee, to have it. Yeah. Their backs were against the wall, certainly. She had six kills on 12 attempts in set four alone to hit 500 after what was a very quiet first couple of sets. And right now, Louisville's got the momentum in their hands, and the fans are loving it. This is an indication of what this day and night is going to be like. <laughs> it's a pretty good start, I'd say. I'd say we're off to a good start. We'll see if it continues in Austin and Madison and Stanford. This has been memorable here. Is there a comeback in store for Oregon? They are fighters. Pukas to Nunaviller. De Beer, another kill. I see so many similarities between Anna De Beer and Brooke Nunaviller. They're the ones you want to have the, the ball in their hands late in the game. And Anna De Beer has delivered. Bartlett delivering at the service line. Bacon, no. None of Miller. Bartlett saved it. Miscommunication on Oregon side. Louisville, two points away from Omaha.
six nothing run for the cards. Thomas person in the building right now may be Aiden Bartlett as she is delivered at the service line. Another one that jumps up. Bartlett with the dig. DeBeer with the miss hit. Rare error for Louisville here in this set. Just their second attack error here of the fifth set. Before that swing, they were hitting 438 in the fifth. That ends a 6 nothing run. Bartlett receiving hugs and cheers from her teammates. Loud cheer from the crowd as she heads to the bench. What a job by her. Good dig by Chausse. Kong. Ferreira dug it out. Pukis looks for the kill. Match point, Louisville. Matt Olmer's got the challenge card out here. So right now, it's point Louisville. Probably gonna check to see if there's a net violation or a touch. Anything right now. Kind of feels like a Hail Mary for the Tucks. Sure. Remember, on Thursday, Oregon was on top 14 to 5 <laughs> over Nebraska. The Cornhuskers went on a late run to make it interesting. Now it's reversed. Think where we were, what was that, 30, 45 minutes ago in set three? When it was all Oregon, they were smothering Louisville. 25-13 was the final in that set. Oregon hit 500 in that set. Louisville hit zero. The cards looked like deer in headlights, did they not? Nothing was working. And give, give Oregon a ton of credit for that. They Absolutely. Were, they were the ones digging out every shot that came on their side. But what a response from Louisville since then to force a fifth and then to control this. So the question as we roll it through one more time as Kong came through. I think the question could be uh, Kong in the net. I think based on that view, it looked more that Oregon's blockers were in the net as compared to PK Kong. Yeah. But again, if you're Oregon, you got to take a chance. Definitely. Can't take the card back with you, Eugene. Got to use it here. Do what you can to slow things down. But it is match point for the Cardinals. Raquel Lothero serving for the match for Louisville. Jones ends it and sends Louisville to Omaha. 